Hey guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It's 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I still don't have my camper top because it hadn't come in yet. Boo! But anyway, while I'm sitting here waiting patiently like a little bird in nest in my little RV by, that I live in in Central Texas, again, it's 3 o'clock Central Standard Time. Beautiful day. Got the windows open, probably 76 degrees outside. Birds chirping, a little overcast, not too bad. But anyway, what I want to talk about is... For those of you that travel in the USA, that live in the USA, and you want to have your mail forwarded, well, they've changed the rules on me, or apparently everywhere. Uh, heretofore, or in the past, when I would go traveling for extended periods of time, months, uh, then what I would do is, is my postal carrier, I live in a rural area, and I have a lady that comes and puts the mail in the mailbox. I would tell her that I was going somewhere and then I would go by the post office and buy some of those flat rate envelopes and then I would call the post office from wherever I was and she would ship it to me, general delivery, to that post office wherever I was. And, and that was all I paid was for the flat rate envelopes which is about five bucks a piece and, you know, I didn't use but maybe three or four the whole time I was gone. So it was a pretty economical way to Pony Express the mail, which I thought was genius. Well, anyway, today the postal carrier came by and I told her what I was thinking about doing. And she said, yeah, just go by the post office and get some of those flat rate envelopes like we've done in the past. Well, anyway, I just thought, well, better call before I go by and be sure we're all on the same page. And sure enough, I get the postmaster or whoever it was on the phone. And they said, well, you know, we used to do that, but we no longer do that. So I knew I was in trouble right there. So what they have now is a new service, or relatively new, or I don't know how new it is. But you go to USPS.com, and you do a little search up there in their search field for premium forwarding service, and then you find out all about it. Well, I was reading it, and it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, there's an enrollment fee of $19.35. Oh, if you enroll online, it's $17.75 to enroll online. And then, and then, uh, then here's the catch. <laughs> here's the old catch a roo, okay? It's $19.35 for each week. Of service you got me so in other words if I was in northern New Mexico and I was going to be in an area for a few days and I wanted to have my mail forwarded I would have to pay the $17.75 enrollment fee plus $19.35 for that one time forwarding for a total of round numbers 40 bucks am I gonna do that no no. But anyway, for you people that are out there and you're thinking about leaving your little houses and going out traveling and camping and stuff, uh, you're going to have to come up with a better deal than the USP, U.S. Postal Service, or you're just going to have to have your mail held and pick it up when you get back, or uh, after a couple of months, you can pay 40 bucks and have it shipped to you one time, but that's pretty damn high. Now, I know there's other services that do this you know there's escapees has a service and there's all kind of mail forwarding services but you have to have your mail already going to them and i don't have my mail going to them now i'm not set up and so you know and rather than try to pony express it by forwarding my mail from my p.o box to an escapee address or some other address and then paying them a fee to ship it to me wherever i was i think we would probably end up with mail being probably lost or something. So, for those of you that travel, check out USPS.com premium forwarding service. Uh, it is available. And, uh, if, and, and if, you, if you schedule like three forwarding events at $19.95 each and you don't use them, then they will refund your money. That is an upside, okay? That is an upside. Yeah, I'll tell you what you got to do, though. Uh, it says, uh, 
To request a refund for premium forwarding services, you must provide at a minimum the order number, confirmation, confirmation number, or the tracking number for the weekly shipments you wish to refund, the reason for the refund request. If you set it up at the post office, then you have to go back to that po post office to get your refund. If you set it up online, you can get it refunded online if you've got all the numbers that they need. But anyway, that's all I wanted to do is just give you guys a heads up on that because I'm sitting here waiting patiently for my camper top and uh, they ain't called yet. I called them at two o'clock and they said, well, whenever it gets here, you know, that they're not, they're not me. They're not concerned. <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, having said that, Whenever it comes in, I'll do a video. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be here tomorrow, you know. Yeah, I'm a little antsy about it. But anyway, that doesn't have anything to do with the premium forwarding service at the U.S. Postal Service. So, for those of you that are going to want to mail me stuff, you just go right ahead and mail it because they will hold it until I get back. I will be leaving on the 15th, probably. And uh, I'll just tell them to hold my mail. I can do that on USPS.com, and I'll probably do that right now. So anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy USA Made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Three quarts a day will not hurt you. You may pee like a racehorse or two or three peckered possum, but you'll feel better. And also, you won't, you'll feel full and you won't eat so much. And uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Several times a day. Why? Because that relieves stress and that lowers your blood pressure and that's all good for you. Uh, what else? Stand up, walk around, stretch, keep busy, stay active, keep your health because we're going to go camping somewhere and if the mail has to wait, it just will. Because who knows, I might be gone a week and I might be gone three months. I'm just going to go until I get goed out and then I'll come back and sit around here a while. And then I'll get the itch again and I'll go again. And then we'll just do that over and over and over and over till I can't do it anymore. So anyway, adios guys. Bye-bye. Oh, also, for those of you that do mail stuff, it's P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639. And you can PayPal to uh, Rusty78609 at Yahoo.com. Anyway, thumbs up guys. Adios. Bye.